Hey, how you guys doing? My name is Murphy and my beautiful wife, Melissa, and we are here to help you improve your health, wealth, and, and relationships. relationships. So today, you guys, we are going to talk to you about um, our debt-free celebration trip to Cabo San Lucas yes. budget review. Budget review. So for some of you that have followed our journey, uh, we were married nine years ago mm -hmm. and we took our honeymoon to Cabo San Lucas. So we thought it would be kind of cool to go back and celebrate our debt freedom in Cabo. Yes. Um, we want to say, you guys, that if you're going through your debt free journey, mm -hmm. Hold on, hang in there. Summer after summer, we were not taking vacations yes. by choice. And this was so incredibly worth it. Like, it we was, seriously it lived like kings and queens. Yeah. Like, it was awesome. Yeah, it was. And just in regards to what you were saying earlier about how we, um, you know, we took, you know, we, we didn't take a vacation throughout this whole time about getting out of debt. And you guys, for real, the FOMO was real than it can ever be. You know, and for you guys out there who don't know what FOMO is, fear of missing out, right? It was completely excruciating at some time, but we are so thankful that we waited till this time and allowed to take these beautiful debt-free vacations. Yeah, it was, it was yeah. so awesome. I mean, it was super hard though to see people going here and going Oof, here. Five, five summers. But it is so worth it. Yeah. So yeah. let's get right down to it. I have all of these receipts in my hands. Yes, and me too. <laughs> and even though you guys, we did all inclusive, mm -hmm. um, we had to sign for everything everything we ordered so and the reason for that you guys gotta sign for everything um for even if, as we did all inclusive it's a law in mexico that you have to sign for everything um that you know that you purchase or even if you didn't purchase you still have to sign as we did because we did all inclusive you know before we got there we started to sign every single item that we actually ordered. Yeah, so of course we saved our receipts to add them up to make money mm -hmm. from getting our money exactly. worth. Exactly, yeah. Um, and if you don't know what all-inclusive is, um, so specifically at our resort, it was connected to the uh, resort next door. It was, which was actually really nice. Yeah. Two, we, we had the, we had like almost um, two for the price of one. It was incredible, incredible. Yeah. So the all-inclusive at yeah. our resort mm -hmm. included um, access to all the restaurants yep. we had to make reservations yep. for um good food it was very very good food the buffets room service all day it was all great. pool service it was, crazy. it was so much you yeah, guys so we were there for seven days mm -hmm. and out of those six days we did all inclusive mm -hmm. so the total for two people for six days, all inclusive. It was twelve hundred and sixty dollars for the both of us for the six days of all inclusive. And you know, back on receipts, we wanted to make sure that we were getting our money's worth, and we'll we'll go deep dive into deep, more detail on if that was um, worth it. So yeah. So um, the second thing, you guys, mm -hmm. that we spent money on for this trip was obviously flights because we needed to fly there. Yes. Um, and if some of you, I uh, think I shared a few months back we found our flights on Google Flights. Mm -hmm. So basically all you do is you just go in there, you type in where you're going. Um, there's a whole story in one of our highlights mm -hmm. under travel uh, explains how to do the Google Flights. Yes. But we found flights on uh, Google Flights on a Tuesday evening, mm -hmm. round trip, nonstop for two people, yep. 626 bucks. That's not bad, you guys. Yeah, not I mean, all. that included taxes, yes. everything. Yeah, right? nonstop, you can't beat that for three hours. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Quick flight there, yes. quick flight home. Um, you know, I think without taxes, it was like under 500 bucks. So that was awesome. So we united. Mm -hmm. um, so, Anyways, next, moving yeah. on. And, and speaking of, um, which kind of segues into the next um, fee that we pay for was United. United has a specific requirement, you guys, in regards to baggage and, um, and luggage, right? So there's a specific fee for um, a bag for each person bringing on that you want to check in. And this bag for um, each of us, one of them was $30. So that means that we both had a bag that we checked in, which was $60 there and six of was coming back so and one cool thing about the luggage thing that i actually picked up on because i didn't want to have any com kind of complications um that we had the first time that we did united which was i don't know how, how long ago but about a year ago we, we did a short little trip somewhere but um but yeah so the so i want to make sure that we had no complications with the actual with representative when we actually had to weigh our luggage at the airport so i went on amazon you guys and i'm 
typed in luggage wear and I found a plethora of different items that was on in that, that, that title that I typed in. And um, I found one that had a lot of, lot of reviews, good reviews. I think the average was about four and a half stars. So I went on it and I bought it. Um, it was $9.99 plus taxes, came out to be at $10.71. And um, you know, it came because we had Prime and that was really efficient because we had to leave the following day, right? So anyways, got home and I actually did, after we packed everything in the bag, you guys, I actually hooked it on to each luggage to make sure it was under 50 pounds. The reason why I say 50 because United has a specific requirement that if your bag weighs more than 50 pounds, the price is, they're gonna hit you with a high price. And I think that fee is like maybe uh, over a hundred dollars. So, you know, for each bag. So I wanted to make sure we kept that under 50 pounds and our luggage wear was um, a imperative thing to do. So it was pretty nice. Yeah, so yeah. 120 bucks mm -hmm. for trip mm -hmm. for our baggage. Yep. Um, moving yeah. on, we wanted to do a spa day when we wanted. Yes, we, did. we wanted to do massages. Mm -hmm. And the really cool thing is, is um, so we had budgeted a certain number and then when we were on the phone about a week before our trip, we were booking the other half of our all-inclusive. Mm -hmm. And the guy over the phone gave us a good promo who said, you know, for 200 bucks, I'll give you $260 yep. worth of credit. So, of course, we purchased that. Mm -hmm. um, if you do go to Cabo, if you do go to one of all those all-inclusive, highly, highly recommend don't book your massage until you actually get there. Yes. The reason for that The is reason why is this, you guys, because when we were staying, as time progressed as our time was at Cabo, they kept giving us different promos and discounts uh, for m massages. So, we recommend maybe about a second or third day when you're there. The discounts increase, and which means that you pay less for massages. So we we recommend maybe the second or third day you then would um, want to book that massage because the discounts higher, and then you have a, a, a better chance of getting a better price for the massages. Mm -hmm. so. so we did a really cool package. Um, you know, had the jacuzzi, the spa, and everything, mm -hmm. and we paid two hundred and seventy dollars total for that package, yes. and that included trips. Yes, it did. Um, the next thing is. We uh, budgeted for tips and spending money. Mm -hmm. And tips and spending money, that kind of included different things that we wanted to buy. We bought a, a couple of shirts and um, some souvenirs for a few people that we that we wanted to get gifts to. Go to Walmart. <laughs> Go to Walmart, yes. And luckily, you guys, we Save had a money. we had a Walmart literally, um, I think, less than a mile away from our, our um, resort. And that was incredible. And, you know, it was I think it was like $2 bus ride for both of us only, you know, there and then $2 back. But it was kind of nice. But Walmart came at a crucial time because you know, even before we kind of did a little bit of shopping for our bathing suits and um, other you know tank tops, and we wish that we would have waited till we got to resort and went to Walmart. Cause we would have saved so much more money. But um, you know, we highly recommend if you have a Walmart, some kind of like you know convenient or consignment store near you, you resort. Wait till you get there and pre-plan. Go on your Google Maps and see what's around that resort, so you can actually um, have a detailed spe specificity on where you can go to pick up some extra items, towels, bathing suits, or what have you. So, I think that when we went downtown yeah. and then also the souvenirs and mm -hmm. gift shop at the resorts, they were like double the price that you really found of course. at Walmart. Yeah, they were marked so, up, of course, right? So, yeah. So, yeah. so check out your local department store, even if you have to take Uber, mm -hmm. transportation, public transportation. Yeah. The other part of that is tips, you guys. Yes. So in Cabo, we mentioned this in a previous post mm -hmm. on our Instagram, is uh, make sure that you bring lots of ones, fives. Yeah. Um, you're, you're tipping the... the the, um, so you know, the, wait, the, the waiters, the workers there, the pool service, and um, a lot of different areas. And you know, at first, I mean, one cool thing that you know, I'll throw in real quick, we had a wonderful concierge, a person named Carla. She was awesome, and we were shocked because we didn't know we, we never had that kind of service. And let me explain what a concierge is. So we went there, and also we checked in for our, whole, our specific resort room. But we didn't know that it came with a concierge, a personal concierge that takes care of all our um, reservations for the dinners and all our activities that we booked outside of the resort. And she took care of everything, guys. It was incredible. And we changed things. We did. You know, we, we made a, we made her job a little bit harder yeah. because we just wanted to make sure it wasn't on purpose, but we just wanted to make sure it worked around our schedule because we're there to vacate, right? But she was so pleasant and really, really nice. Thank you, Carla, by the way. But um, we, we definitely hooked up with a tip at the end. Mm -hmm. uh, and a total of those tips and spending was $340 that we um, that we, um, we budgeted for. And my wife, she hit something on really important to know. Make sure you bring a lot of ones. Um, uh, honestly, maybe all those, maybe about 90% of the 340 ones. Because 
as you guys know, Mexico, I think I mentioned on one of my stories earlier this week was the fact that the average uh, minimum wage, I'm not average, I'm sorry, the minimum wage per day in Mexico is five to about eight dollars per day. Per day. So, you know, giving two, three dollars, man, that goes a long way for them. That's like mm -hmm. a half of a day work. My gosh, right? So, but I highly recommend you make sure you have ones and fives just to pass out to these people, you know, people who work so hard and they don't expect tips. But well, my goodness, we wanted to do that because but it's so also they, they live off the they, they do. So some they, some of them do. Some of them do because most of them they have minimum wage, but there are drivers and other people that actually live. She writes they live off the tip. So that's very true. You'll literally get in a vehicle and the sign every single yeah. will say <laughs> this, yep. this this driver lives off the exactly. tip. So, you know, they say at the all-inclusive resort, like, you don't have to tip, but we just felt like it was... It was necessary. It was necessary. Yeah, it was necessary for us. So that, that, was, that might seem course. like a lot, but... Yeah, but I was out for so. Yeah, so $340 in tips. Yep. Um, so food and drinks. Uh, for us, like we, like I said, it was our seven days. So that whole first day, we had to budget for. Yep. Um, and the snacks that we brought with us, yes. the planes, yes. the room, and all of that. Yeah. Um, we had to budget for that. So we spent two hundred seventy dollars, two hundred seventy-eight dollars in our budget for food and drinks. So yeah. that included, you know, like a, the snacks and the night, the first night we were there. Yeah, for the airplane. Like, yep. I don't know, over half of that, so, not cheap food mm -hmm. um, at the resort. Yeah. Um, the next one is... Yeah, next one is the Kabul Transportation, and this included um, the actual the van that took us from the airport to the resort and uh, and back to the um, to the airport when we were done. Also, in between that time, the Uber rides that we took, and plus the, you know, the, the bus rides through Walmart and back. So that all included in the Kabul Transportation, which the total that we actually budgeted for that was $228. And that's, this was really necessary, and I'm glad we did that because um, you know we, we pre-planned the um, the airport tra transportation to our resort beforehand because I think it was like I want to say ugh, 22, yeah, 22 dollars each um, to go from the airport to the resort, which was 44 dollars each way, right? Which equates to 88 dollars. So that really helped for sure. So. Yeah, and that also included the 228 dollars mm -hmm. included. Trips in California. Yeah, that's to true. SFO. The, the Uber rides to yeah, SFO. Yeah, so, so right. wasn't bad. Um, the last one that we wanted to talk to you about is excursions. Mm -hmm. So we highly, highly recommend you don't book any of your excursions until you actually get to your resort. Yes. So we almost booked one. We had a budget for it before we went, but we are so glad we did it. Because mm -hmm. when we got there, um, I don't know if you want to tell them. A little bit more about the, the timeshare. Oh yes, yeah, so and discount. Yeah, yeah. So, so this is a cool thing, and you know, we were a little hesitant because we we were not going to go there and buy a timeshare. Like that's not going to happen, right? But the thing is, is that there was a little um, kind of a promo, more so an incentive for the people staying at the resort. And you know, like so, we were kind of skeptical, but Carla, our concierge, kind of explained to us what was in what was in it for us, and we said, you know, okay, so an hour and a half of our day, okay, we. We can suck it up and do that. And my wife, she was actually more for it than I was, because I was like, oh, I kind of want to just enjoy our time. But I'm glad we did it. They weren't pressured um, as much as I thought, but they were a little bit more pressured at the end of the the, the presentation. But it was so worth it, you guys, because um, the excursions and activities that we did off the resort, I think they were originally like, I don't know, um, I don't know, maybe a hundred some each for all for both of us, maybe more than that. But we got like 60 to 80 percent off of these activities we got just for going through the hour and a half timeshare presentation and of course we yeah said no. of course we said no the whole time we knew we were going into the um to the timeshare presentation to say no but we wanted to be um you know we wanted to give carla our concierge you know the, the, the satisfaction of us going because she treated us so well so we wanted to do her a favor and go to these because i guess each concierge gets points if they have their um the people um go through these timeshare presentations but it was a win-win honestly but if you guys have that um that gumption or that more, more so you guys want to go out the resort and actually have an activity for your family, I highly recommend go through the hour, hour and a half presentation to get deep discounts for activities. Yeah, so yeah. what we did, you guys, was um, we did the ATV. Oh my God, so incredible, you guys. Yeah, and then we yes. did a sunset cruise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and so the total of that, 
Plus, we bought like an $80 picture package. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Which we would probably never have spent $80 on a picture package, but we had it in our budget. We did. We did. We were only doing two, so we spent $273 on. Um, we did upgrade our ATV. We did. Automatic. We did. And to say a little bit more about that, you guys, the upgrade, <laughs> yeah, do it for sure. Um, and it's funny because when we upgraded, which cost I think an extra 50 bucks for both of us to go um, from a semi, um, for I think a manual um, ATV to an automatic ATV. But they, they told us that we were going to go um, get be upgraded to a different ATV. But luckily we had actually one of the high-end ones and we had no idea. So we highly recommend you guys to upgrade for sure the ATV. We had a double one. It was, I think it was called a, a Razor, which was so fun. And she she actually wasn't going to drive it. And she actually drove it at the end. And she, well, just, she loved it. She, she did a wonderful job. So it was really fun. Yeah, it was it was nice. I was sore too. So, yeah. Yeah. Um. So before we give you the total, one last little thing that yes. we wanted to touch on. So, like, the day before we left, you guys, uh, it dawned on me because, like, I've been traveling for work this summer, yes. and that every time you check into a hotel, they ask you for a deposit yeah. or a hold on your credit card, just for incident or yep. anything like that. Yep. So it dawned on me, we need to budget for that because Murph and I, we choose not to use credit cards. No. We don't have a single credit card in our wallet. We do not. Um, I don't know, we may have one or two accounts still open, but it's yeah. besides the point. All we use is our debit card. Yep. So we actually called the resort and it was difficult to get a hold of anybody yeah, the on day a before, Sunday the day guys, before the day we before. leave. So I was on the phone with them and I, it was a little frustrating because like you said, I could not get a representative to tell me what the security, I'm, not, I'm sorry, the incidental uh, deposit was. So it took me about maybe I don't know, five to 10 minutes to get to someone and finally someone said $500. I almost flipped out the reason why, because we, <laughs> because we didn't, budget, we didn't for budget for that, but luckily we had some savings mm -hmm. that we actually just returned some money uh, from, emergency, emergency fund savings. And, savings. and so some additional savings that we had too, but luckily we had money to transfer over. And um, so that kind of alleviated the stress. So that was well taken care of. So that was one thing, you guys, that we say is another imperative aspect of um, pre-planning. It's make sure you call the resort or hotel, what have you. And make sure you ask that really wonderful question. What is your incidental security deposit for your um, for your stay? Because that's really something you guys got to budget. Today. And also, too, just kind of a side note, mm -hmm. uh, that lesson kind of taught us that whenever you're traveling, like especially out of the United States or wherever you live, yeah. Yeah. traveling out of your country like make sure that you have some miscellaneous cash yes. on hand so important. like even if you have your money in another bank online bank like transfer it to your main checking mm -hmm. because if you're only using a debit card and you have no credit card and you only access to the cash mm -hmm. quickly like you have it there yes. you know so i don't even want to think about how we used to travel in the past it just gives me anxiety yes, i mean we came home with so much credit card debt yeah, yeah. but no more. that 500 dollars deposit um you know, obviously they took the money out of our checking yep, and then true. they put it back in. True. No problem. True, true. So, are you all ready for the grand total? Drum roll, please. We made it this far. <laughs> da, 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 oh, we forgot one thing. Oh, yeah, we did. And, you know, before the drum roll, sorry. So, um... You're probably wondering. Yeah, wondering. So, the actual... So, someone very special to us gifted this, um, the, the, the actual resort stay. So, our room and board was taken care of. Um, for yeah, they, they give to us because of that freedom. But our room and board, you guys, for the whole six to seven days was gifted to us. And thank you for for uh, for that wonderful gift. And you know who you are. But thank you so much for that. So want to make sure you guys understand that the numbers that we're about to say does not include that because of the room and board was taken care of. So one more time, drum roll, please. The grand total is. Say it together. <laughs> Three thousand three hundred and ninety-five dollars. So, and we came home with extra cash. We did. Woo! We did. We did for oh, sure. Oh, and how much faith did we? Um, so yeah, the about to be seats. On the so yeah. So let's recap a little bit, you guys. So the all-inclusive, once again, and I want to remind you, we spent. Uh, we, or should I say we budgeted twelve hundred and sixty dollars for both of us for the six days of all inclusive, and we ran the numbers, you guys, and it came out to be these receipts right here. If we did not have all inclusive, we would have paid about twenty two hundred dollars, you guys. That's crazy, right? So if you do the numbers real quick in, our, in your head, it's roughly about eight to nine hundred dollars savings. That is huge for us, man. And we mm -hmm. we were kind of shocked when we saw that. We saw, wow, you know, we we, we did it. We did it. We kind of we kind of did, but it was worth it because we were on vacation. Mm -hmm. 
But um, but yeah, so we saved about eight hundred and nine hundred dollars, you guys. So ultimately, the all inclusive for us was so worth it. Worth it so, but yeah, that's about it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But we had fun, um, kind of sitting down, telling you guys about our combo, yes. uh, our debt free vacation, um, you know, combo trip with you guys. But. We are so excited for what's next for you guys, and we know that you guys are almost there for your therapy journey. Do not give up. Keep pushing, you guys. It was. Many so. more traveling destinations Absolutely. to come. So thanks again for watching, you guys, and we'll be in touch. Love you all. Peace out.